actually get, you know, do this thing competently. Because one, next, next week's going to be our one year anniversary of doing this thing. One year we'll have the lights and the sound. <sighs> you know, and, ha and have all those things working. Everything works at the same time. Mm -hmm. So far we haven't had that. Then, oh, the, then the, the electricity you, you've got You've got a brand that says Air Queen. That's it's right, it is funny. That's a, it says Air Queen. Yeah. Air Queen N95. Do you ever hear of uh, Speed Queen? Oh, is, is it a dryer? An electric yeah, dryer? they make electric dryers. Yeah. But it also sounds like, uh, you know... A sort wild of, guy. No, it, it sounds like party slang. Oh, because speed is, is meth, Yeah. right? And so you say, oh, he's such a speed queen. You know, it's, but I, I don't know. Like I, and then you say, what are you, they're, they're a commercial dryer? That's, that's when all of the, um, the household appliances had names for women because mm -hmm. that's who they were for. When you would get like, if you got a television, you could get a, a Sears television or Kenmore was the brand. Mm -hmm. So you'd get a Kenmore garage door opener. Or you get uh, a Kenmore um, water heater. But the appliances in the kitchen were called Lady Kenmore. So you oh. get a, a Lady Kenmore refrigerator, a Lady Kenmore dishwasher. Oh, so, so that... I'd like them to go back to that. It would be funny. Oh, yeah. Because so, so, so my, my, my uh, range is actually by a company called Heroin Junkie. Oh. So I think that it's uh, similar to the other. Yeah, no, right? <laughs> no. Um, it's who so... installed it. <laughs> no, I... Uh... Okay, yes. Uh, so I wanted to, to go over one thing, which is, uh, oh, shit. What happened? I was, I was like, oh, uh, I'll have my notes up on my phone. But then I realized, oh, that's just my phone. Oh, oh. So let me pull it up right here. But I'll, I'll, I'll introduce. Do you have another copy? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay. Because, um, so I'll, I'll introduce the idea. And so essentially what I wanted to go over, is, I, I teased mm -hmm. the last time. And... Um, I did a lot of research on this over the past uh, mm -hmm. two weeks, but I hated all the answers. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, and I'll tell you why. So, it, the question is, how is it that uh, just just to recap that good good friendships, uh, business, personal, otherwise, where you think the other person's competent, but then it goes into this place of where like you. You say, well, that person's still good, but for whatever reason, like, we hate each other. Um, Irrespective of their ability to do the job. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, when you look into this thing, uh, or when I did, I came up with basically two, two strains. Mm. The first one was nothing but relationship advice. And it's stuff like, well, people change. And then you're like, yeah, but we're talking about the first like six weeks. Yeah. You know, like we're not talking about seven years and like, well, maybe you need some time away. You know, you know, and it's just like, oh God, it's no, this marriage. is this no, is all wrong, weeks. right? Yeah. Um, you know, maybe there are some miscommunication. No, it's not about that stuff, right? And then there's this other one that talks about uh teams and they have and this is just sort of the there's a bunch of self-help guru, guru stuff out mm. there, which I just summarize as how to be a human because they go over like the most basic things, you know, like you need to do eye contact, smile <laughs> more often, <laughs> you know, and just how to like, make friends and influence people. And it's these instead. basic it's things. Really, yeah, yeah. And they're absolutely. just like a bunch of scammers. So there's this classic book by a guy named Lencioni, Five Dysfunctions of yeah. a Team. It's sort of like where all of them are. And so he has this little pyramid. And uh, let me try to, and that was what I was going to get up here, but I had a good picture. Um, so let me, okay, here it is. So basically they say, oh, uh, there's an absence of trust between the people. So what you need to do is you need to be more human. Yeah, I don't think that's it. There's a fear of conflict. And so what you should do is you should get debate between people. I, I think this oh, guy's well, being paid by the word. Let me go over it. Yeah. There's a lack of commitment. So what you need to do is, is to focus on clarity. And then... Uh, there's also an avoidance of accountability, so you need to, uh, you know, confront difficult issues. No, none of that is. Apparent. There's a fifth one. Yeah. There's inattention to results, so that means you need to focus on outcomes. Now, these are all decent things, but the, the problem is that the starting value, in order for these to be useful, mm. would be like throwing shit across the room and that shit being knives. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, 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 it, that's a, a, a for, for the extreme for functional adults. Yeah. All of these things are figured out. Hmm. I think that the one thing that um, 
What were you going to say? And then I'll get the other note. No, I was just going to say, I, it sounds like whoever wrote this book doesn't know what they're talking about. Yeah. It's, it's well regarded. Are... Well, it's well regarded because what it is, this is a book for a, a, a team at a, at a, you know, sales company and the sales team isn't getting things done because they're arguing. So let's focus on results and let's look at each other in the eye and let's, and now we're all flying to Cleveland and yeah, that's not, but it's not for, People in, in your example, management, C level management in two different companies to try to work together. Uh, it's not, uh, this isn't. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah, I'm with you on that. It's not at, at so, that level. Yeah. So I think that what the real, much more useful one is there's. Um, the problem is you give somebody. You want to give somebody a lot of agency, but you need to know like what the right level is, and that's where the problem is. And and, and, I'll, and I'll tell you what I mean. So, who's Fred Virginia Woolf? You brought this up like multiple times. How you saw once saw and saw a play of what was this Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor movie, and it was done as a comedy. Right, right. now well, the the play I saw second. It was originally a play. It became a movie. But the movie I saw first. But and it was a ha- uh, uh, but 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 but, but hold on. Let's, let's, let's just match. let's yeah. just uh, do this. Yeah. Okay. So um, it's this. It's a script mm. of a play, mm. and it can be read both as a melodrama and as a mm. comedy. Yeah. Okay. Do we agree with that? Yes. Now, now, if the it, what, what, was it was Alba that wrote it. I forget. Uh, Edward Albee. Yeah. Yeah. It was Albee. So let's say that Albee wrote it, and then he and then he uh, watched the Richard Burton Elizabeth Taylor version. Mm-hmm. I think that at that point he can, he would have to undeniably say, well, they did do the script. Um, they won Academy Awards for it. Uh, you know, this is seen as a great movie. I guess that's a valid way to read my right. script. Right. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I, it shouldn't be a comedy. I think maybe it should have been a melodrama. I, and 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 the whole I point. I think that's a, not only possible. That seems to have happened because after the movie was made, mm-hmm. then it was played as a melodrama. Almost a melodrama, but certainly an angry, angry drama for years. And it was many years later when people started to play it the way it had originally been performed on Broadway, which is not not a wacky comedy, but there are plenty of laughs. Right. I, no I'm laughs just using it as an analogy. Yeah. The, the whole point is that when you yeah. give very talented people like Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor, which are undeniably great actors, yeah. and you give them as much agency as, as you can, you say, here's a script, yeah. I want you to do this thing. And then they come up with a, with a very good work. Are you necessarily angry? I mean, mm. you kind of are because you're like, uh, we were tasked with making a comedy, mm. right? Mm. But they also did this other thing over here. And like, I don't want them to say, hey, guys, we have to throw this movie away because it wasn't funny. Because then you're like, well, this was valuable. Mm-hmm. It's just not what I want. Yeah. And I thought it was clear at the time. But these are really creative people that I gave it to. Mm -hmm. And so I think this is, I think that the problem is one of, of competence, creativity, and agency where you, you don't necessarily know what is presumed. Because I bet you that when Albie was done, he was like, ha, this is hilarious. Oh, this is so funny. (laughs) I can't wait for the movie. And he's cracking up (laughs) as he puts it in the mailbox. And then he sees the movie and he's like, what the hell is this? Right? Like, like. An interesting description of production. (laughs) And and, and in fact, there is something else we're going to get to, which has the same damn problem. Well, that's right. We have a little problem there. Um. I, I think this is a much more common thing, and I'm surprised maybe my search term uh, abilities were terrible and I wasn't typing in the right thing, but I don't hear people talking about this as the issue, which is you get fairly competent people that, and, and that's the other thing, is that you're like, okay, so let's just talk Both about- at high levels of companies. No, well, these aren't. Well, uh, let, let, let's talk about the Elizabeth yeah. Burton and, and whatever. You know, did they have an inattention to results? No, yeah. they not at all. You know, did they have an avoidance of accountability? No, they were great actors on the screen. You know, lack of commitment? No, I think it was quite well done. Fear of conflict? No, not at all. They were arguing the entire movie. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know, an absence of trust? No. <laughs> you know, like, they, they, on all of these things, flying colors. 
but they produce the wrong thing. Yeah. Or they produce something. Or they, or they different. produce the right thing. Yeah. <laughs> or and, it's different. And, and the issue is in sort of, uh, chartered fields, yeah. not, not in the pure arts, but in the ones where like, oh, I don't know, like Comedy Central hmm. tasks you for writing something. And then you come back with, you know, like, uh, the, the greatest American novel, but it's not humorous. Mm. They'll be like, this is fabulous, Larry. This is the best book I've ever read, but we're Comedy Central. Mm. We can't do this, mm. right? Um, like, like, that's the kind of thing that we're talking about, is that, like, it's, it's not always clear. And, 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 that, and that's just a big example. It, it's true at the small scale, mm. right? Where I say something like, oh, I don't know, um, uh, yeah, any, like, like, you know, this table, right? Mm -hmm. And then I say, I want you to make a kind of like, you know, something in this style. And then it comes out not how mm -hmm. I expected, but I agree there's a beautifully yeah. manufactured and done table. Mm -hmm. I'm still disappointed, but it's, it's a struggle because it's like, this is still a, a magnificent thing that you've done. It's just not what I wanted. Mm -hmm. So how to resolve that is the big problem because you don't want to, because you, when you see somebody who's that talented, you don't want to be like, well, oh, I'm going to take away all your agency because mm. then I'm not going to get good results from you. Yeah. And, and, you know, and the whole reason I hired you is because they don't want to have to worry about things. But, like, where does that line go? That's a problem. I don't have a solution. What no. Have you, what have you uh, surmised? Surmised. There isn't a solution. There's only a lot of things in life are, are a give and take and a struggle and there is no easy way out. You know, and it, it's just a matter of acknowledging the complexity of, of reality. It's like what we were talking about beforehand when, you know, I was bringing up the controversial topics of, of history. Yeah. And I was like, it's, it's muddy. Mm. And until we acknowledge the muddiness of it, we're going to run into some of the problems that are caused by that muddy, muddiness. We, the, the clean answers rarely, I mean, they do exist in yeah. some things, like maybe physics or math yeah. or something like that, and these sort of pure stuff. But when we're dealing with human beings, it's not like that. You know, there's, it's complicated. Yeah. I was listening to something today about how um, there were, they were talking about how there were these like two racists in the 1830s. And they, they both thought that black people were inferior. They're, mm. they're, they're um, these, uh, f f f whatever, the, the ones that, 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 you know, look at the lumps in the head. Yeah. You know, the, whatever, the yeah. damn race science, right? Yeah. And one of them said something like, oh, um, you know, the, the, the issue is, is that since, since the, the Africans are an inferior race, then we need to have somebody look over them. And so I'm pro-slavery, right? And then the other one said something like, oh, well, because of that, then they should be given the freedom because, you know, they should be liberated. Like we, like we, we don't, you know, we don't, you know, quote, quarantine birds. You know, we, we allow them to be free, right? And, and, and this is this thing of like these people that both saw the wrong world, right? Yeah. Of this hierarchy of races, which is totally wrong. But one of them came up with the right answer, which is no slavery. Right. And the other one came up with the wrong answer, which is this is why we should have it. Yeah. And the whole the whole point is that, like, I, I, what, I don't remember what I was saying before. And I don't know why you brought that part up. I was talking about all oh, the complexities of things and the nuances when you're dealing with humans is that you can give them one thing. And you can say this X leads to Y. And you're totally wrong <laughs> because the human mind is, is infinitely creative and it can just take it whatever direction they want to. There is no guaranteed cause, causality of the world. Um, it's, it's complicated. Mm. So no, I don't have an answer. <laughs> but, but I think it's a worthwhile model. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so that was that part. Now the, the other anal different analysis of... Uh... Did, did we want to... Uh, well, let me see what oh, we're doing on time. That was quick. Fourteen. Right. Um, so we could, we could go to food or we could go to um, Camus. Let's go to Camus and close okay. on the food. Okay, cool. So, um, so we've read another 50 pages. Right, right. and so we have about 60 pages left. Yeah. And mm. I would say that currently... Mm. Um, Nothing much is still going on. 
however. Uh, however, okay, you go to however, then I'll uh, Well, not only is not something much going on, but I think if you took the 50 pages we read for last week and the 50 pages we read for this week and you just flipped them, I don't think there'd have been any difference in the story. Well, maybe they are in your version, actually. Yeah. Uh, Although I do have some notes of things I liked and didn't like particularly here, but you have something else to say first. However, yes, um, there is, I, we were trying to do discovery at this, but I didn't plan it enough, so I'm just not going to make it as entertaining as I should have. But <laughs> um, there is debate on, on whether this is intentional because... Do you, do you want to talk about well, it? Well, that it's an allegory about uh, Nazism, about uh, the infiltration of Nazism and people accepting a plague, this plague of fascism in France, particularly and, and in so France, but certainly in Germany. Th there was, there's two things yeah. uh, that were sort of like two pieces of evidence were brought up. The yeah. first one is that the French called the Nazis a brown plague, yeah, right, or the brown pestilence. Um, and then the other one was that uh, FDR had a quarantine and containment speech in like 1937 where he was talking about, uh, you know, how it was like a plague that had gone out uh, amongst the nations. And now in our defense, this book was written in another language and we're reading a translation and we're reading two different translations. Um, when, well, we haven't confirmed that yet, but but I, right. I, guess, I guess more in our defense is that we're reading a book called The Plague During a Plague. Yes, and and it was written right after the Nazis. It was and, written and in 1947. We we, when we hinted at this a few times. And still going on. Yeah, yeah, we we hinted at this a few times. It's like there's something something there's something in here, but I don't see it. But it took me to about 150 yeah. or 60 pages in there. When they were talking about the mass graves, yeah. and I was like, "That's that's a Holocaust." Yeah. I was like, "Wait a second, and there's something here." And now that we know, now that we know that the the story makes a little more sense and it's slightly more interesting. It's still boring. It's still quite the slog. But now I'm pulling out things and going, "Ah, how did I miss that?" Ah, right. I see that. Yeah. Even to the point of where when they're locked in. Uh, which was in this past 50 pages, they're locked in and they're not let out. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, oh, that's the concentration camp. Mm -hmm. And that they're all covered with dust and, and white dust. Oh, we have white dust, we have white dust. And one of the things there was the crematorium did give off this ash of the people that they were burning. And it was all over, of course, the people in the concentration camp, but even in the neighboring towns, and this is a thing later, that people were saying, didn't you smell all the burning bodies? Didn't you see the dust coming down on you? Yeah, but they were and Jews. Was, I mean, what, what right. do I care? Well, that was what they were thinking. <laughs> it wasn't my neighbor. But, but you couldn't miss it. And since there's so much white dust in in this portion of the book, I thought, well, that's that's what they're talking about, too. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's still uh, it's still really boring. Well, so one of the... So this is a clinical way that's being described. Yeah. Was... A reference, well, here is the, one of the things that, that mm -hmm. I've tasked for next week is, let's back up and I'll go over what I just said beforehand, mm -hmm. is that uh, if you've ever been in high school, basically, and you were told to read any classic book, it doesn't, let's just take 1984, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, then you would, your teacher, depending on their political affiliation, strictly would uh -huh. say, Oh, well, this book's about capitalism. Yeah. And then another one would say, well, this book's about communism, right? right? And, and I don't know, maybe if you go deep south enough, they say this book's about the Jews. Like, I, I don't know. That's right. Like, <laughs> the Jews were the plague. Like, no, like, you might be if you were in... Uh, no, I'm, I'm talking about 1984. If you were in... Uh, oh, yeah, no. Oh, 1984. And, well, and so, certainly if you were in uh, uh, South Lake, Texas, where they just voted... Uh, but if you do, hey, 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 if you talk about that, then this yeah. episode is no longer evergreen. So stop that, okay? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, one day we're going to have a big audience. We're going to look back, and you know, and I don't they, want, they and I want this, this, I want this to age well. Maybe we, what we can do is, we, well, I'm sure Texas will be the same. Maybe what we can do is we can propose future things to happen, yeah. and then we can, then they'll be like, oh, that was just taped we last year. It. We called it. <laughs> when was this made? Oh, there was. Speaking of translations, and speaking, of, and I don't know how they translated this word, and I'm gonna. But, I'm but gonna, I didn't get to oh, finish okay, my say thing. That. Say that, okay? Then I'm gonna. Is that so? With the with uh, George Orwell's 1984, 
is he wrote a book called Homage to, to, to Catalonia beforehand, where he very much laid out his political philosophy in life. And so, you know, what, what happened in Animal Farm, what happened in, in 1984, really isn't up for debate unless you throw aside the other things that he wrote. <laughs> and it's kind of interesting that they don't structure it and saying, oh, well, now that you read this thing, what do you think it means? And, oh, well, we actually know what it means. It's over here. So one of the things that Camus did, and we have, and this is, we have to look into next week, is he wrote something called a letter to, a letter to a German in 1944. And it's like a four or five part letter, about so 15 the, pages. The war was not over but yet. Supposedly, it will clear up. Well, the other thing is that, like, um, when you talk about 80, 1984 and these other books, mm. is that how much of it is, was intentional from the author and how much of it is projection upon them, mm. right? And that, like, you could, I think we talked about this thing, how you can, uh, we talked last week, mm. how you can look at somebody with, um, sort of, a, a, a positive assumption or a negative mm. assumption, right? And so somebody says something and then you can say, Oh, what they really meant was this brilliant thing over mm -hmm. here, or oh, what they really meant was this some was this ignorant thing over yeah. here, right? And that's all. I said it's muddy, it's complicated, right? So uh, what 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 that would do is it would resolve all of those kinds of, and so you'd know what the real yeah. intention is, yeah. and you know what projection is, and just reading the text itself, we can't figure it out because. <laughs> This isn't enough context. Yeah. You have to look at his nonfiction works in order to understand. And again, we were in the middle of a plague, so we took it at face value. Well, well I'm saying, well, when you're talking about his, yeah. his, his style of writing, mm. that's the big one. Is that, was his, is that, was his style of writing intentionally boring, or mm. was he just a boring author? Yeah. So that, I so if, if he was intentionally boring as, as an artistic, you know, way of telling the story, mm. then okay, fine. But that could just be a projection. Yeah. I, I'm hoping that these other works will resolve the answer to that question. Well, we'll see if the other ones are as boring. I don't know. Have you read anything else by him? Uh, yeah, I've read The Stranger. How was that? It was, it was done in a similar manner, but um, mm. it was this guy where like, awful things were happening to him like deaths are around him and he's like mm. and he had this kind of just starkly weirdness to him like it, it would be like uh oh yes well yesterday i was walking down the street and a little girl had a ball run out mm. and uh to, to the driveway she ran after it and a drunk driver was coming down mm -hmm. and smashed her and she was on she was on the grill for a while as her body separated, huh. and the head went up against the windshield and cracked it, and then the guy went into a tree, and then the car caught a fire, and he was running around burning alive, and I had to pick up the poop for my dog. <laughs> I yawned a bit, and I walked on. You know, and, and it's done in that style, and you're like... Well, that's, that's the style of this book. And, and it's this kind of, like, just... Horror after horror as you go on. So and very casual. It's done in this kind of way where like, like, okay, I know this is intentional. And that's very strange. But this one, it doesn't come across that way. It comes across as, as old timey news. Yeah. You know, and ran this week, you know, 44 people died of the plague. You know, as if yeah. like, cause it doesn't, it doesn't come across as the description I gave, which was probably the most horrific story I've ever told in my yeah. life. In the yeah. most sort of like, Deadpan yeah. <laughs> vocalization. So I wonder, there's one line I wrote down here, mm -hmm. and I want to know, because this should have bumped you too. Okay. And even though I'm, I'm going to read it, and even the line, the way it's translated here is slightly racist, or I should say at least not politically correct or possibly dated, dated vocabulary. I'm welcome. But I'm sure. wondering what it was in yours. They were complaining when they left they had to walk through the Negro district. Right. Oh, is that the word they used in yours? Correct. Oh, okay. I thought maybe uh, another translation might have used a different word. No. Yeah. Okay. What, what, what's wrong with that? Like, no, well, well, it's a dated, well, well, of, dated of, of course we wouldn't. Of course, we think time. it's wrong now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, we know that things were segregated at the time. Yeah. And that, you know, well, people were Things were segregated redlined. and that was an acceptable word to describe it. So it, like, it almost seems like they're being nice. Yeah, it's, it's not. Yeah. 
it's not acceptable to, to have yeah. that today, but I can, Yeah. but like, you know, if somebody's talking about in the forties, like, okay, fine. Like, you know, yeah, that, but that's I, I was wondering if maybe they had used a different word in the translation for you. Um, no, if they had used a different word that began with N. No. Oh, okay. Because I, I don't, I think that that would have been a, hmm. I, not 1947. I, no, no, I, yeah. I, I don't think that it, it was ever uh, an, ex, an acceptable term in high society or in good, it, or, you it, know. In it also bumped me a little bit that something where there was a, you know, plague. like there's black, there's colored, there's Negro, yeah, but there yeah. was never, never yeah. the other word. Yeah. There was not, not an acceptable society. However, but. however, however, hmm. I got a story for you. But I got no, me, hold on. I just, this, right, this right. is so funny. In the seventies, <laughs> there was a law because there was a bunch of landmarks yeah. and, and mountains right. and rivers right. and all, all and of them. And word. in Australia, <sighs> they still existed. Yeah. But here's the here's the funniest thing: is that in down near um, Long Beach, mm. we had one. We had a a, a place th- that used it. Yeah, and the reason, and I looked up and I was like, "Well, where did this come from?" There was no black people living there, actually, because I looked it up. It was all farmland, right? There was no history of it. Yeah, but it turned out that it was a, an an anglicized version of the Spanish word negro. Oh, yeah. and it was like a black river, and so it was a dark colored river. And I'm wondering how many other ones were they like? Oh, well, were an innocent name. We're, we're just like. Well, if, yeah, I guess that's close to the Spanish word. Let's just do that. Uh, well, yeah, here in Southern California. What the Which other used to be that, super racist. Uh, super with, the, racist. with the knowledge that this is possibly mm-hmm. an allegory, mm-hmm. why they're, why they, he chose to use that district without using it other than saying we had to walk through it. So there was no particular attack on it. Or no, nothing there was better or worse, and I thought it would be worse, or no. at least not yet. It I, was I, just a description of this I, is where I we're think walking it's, through. Just, just adding color yeah. to the narrative. Yeah. You know, it, 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 it's it's like saying you know if they were talking about oh there was a flickering street light off in the distance. Like, yeah. Like it's like trying to put meaning on that. Like yeah. no, the person just kind but, of but because it's, scene. it's now so much about possibly about hate and a plague, why that subject was broke it appears and once. not yeah once right that's it though but i thought it might go somewhere else no. because we're already talking about a plague and hatred mm-hmm. so why not hate uh, but but, but that well. wasn't the victim of world war ii uh yeah but given the chance well don't forget not not specifically because there were no black people or virtually no black people in germany but he wouldn't let uh, was it jesse owens wasn't allowed to uh right but uh, what i'm saying is that like that that wasn't a he he could do that he would have given the chance but in the 40s um i would say that Mm. racism against black people is still a very real thing of course but but it wasn't on the on the international stage like it was 10 years later because they're where they were Weren't, there weren't a lot of black people. Well, well yeah, then it, it's, yeah. Just, it's just what, you know. It was you, just something you, you else they would have, have hated the, had, they, had they had the opportunity. You didn't have the Montgomery bus boy. Yeah. Like, no, that's not yeah. happened yet. Yeah. So um, I, I don't think he meant anything by it at all. Other than, all right, all right. I just thought it might have been going somewhere, but it didn't. Oh. It didn't. All right. Uh, anything else that you wrote down? Uh, no, that was just. That was uh, it? The, well, that was the line that popped out at me. Everything else. The only other thing I wrote, read was. Um, wrote was that the 50 pages we read this week could have been flipped with the 50 pages. You know, right, right. You already said that. Yeah. So, so, uh, I, I guess one of my, one of the things I'm trying to read into this, and I don't know, yeah. I might have to reread it. Yeah. That sounds like torture. And yeah, I I'm shouldn't not doing pr- probably do that. Yeah. But the reason I say that is, so this could be read as two things in sort of, um, a modern world. Mm. And the first one is, oh, it's an allegory for the Nazis, right? Second one is, yeah, it's a real plague, right? Yeah. But we kind of went through both of them last year. Yeah. And I know that 
the current right-wingism isn't exactly the Nazis, okay? We, we, we're all, I'm not, not equivocating the two. However, of course, I just said however, yeah. the, the rise of fascism mm. as a kind of religion of bullshit yeah. mirrors the rise of uh, the anti-vaxxers and the flat earthers and the people or the, the pizza gators the as an entirety of the Trump. as a different religion of bullshit yeah. now yes it's not the same you know we're not gassing people and get, like okay but i got I wonder it if given the opportunity but what, but I, what, what I was trying to say... He's made hate okay. He's made hate well, um, okay. Man, that's you can not say it. That that's loud. not what I'm trying to say. Yeah. What well, is that there are... A concept these days where it's potentially contagious. If some... We, we talked about the YouTube rabbit holes, right? How somebody would... Would then just oh I wonder what this thing is and they click on it and then after a few after a few few videos they're like then the white race is being replaced by the Jews you know and and and, and you know and it just go, goes into like spewing hatred after a few seconds right um, and then they, they the person comes back and then a couple couple of weeks later and they're like a far right Nazi and and you're like how the heck did this happen and it's almost like it's a contagious thing that we are not addressing well because we're saying oh what well we need to quarantine and isolate those people but in so doing what you do is that then they're just surrounded by the nazis you're not pulling them out right is is that you know th then they're th then it's just not all bullshit all the time right the, it, the intention the part of the part of the pipeline is that th they remove themselves from it which is why when you go on Gab or on the holidays, everybody's like, oh, I'm so sad because my family's refusing to see me right now. Blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. But, you know, um, yeah, I don't know. Fuck the New World Order or whatever it is, right? Um, and so, like, it, the parallelism between the spread of this kind of fascistic nonsense and the spread of a disease is really close. But... I do not know whether that's a new phenomenon. It certainly existed in the 1930s, in the 1920s, because they ran like half of Europe, yeah. right? Um, and of course, it wasn't websites. It was like pamphlets and political parties and radios and whatever, whatever, you know, I don't know, uh, beer halls. Well, you know, the, the equivalent at the time. Yeah. But... Was it the same kind of... I mean, some of this stuff happens quickly, you know, with QAnon, right? Yeah. And, and when you listen to the podcast, you, know, you hear, like, these people that, like, end up getting arrested, right? Because they think, oh, I don't know, like, to save the children or whatever nonsense it is, right? And, and then you find out, like, you know, when did they start getting into it? And it's, like, on an order of weeks sometimes, or, like, two months or something. And it happens fast. <laughs> well, the, the communication's different now. Right, it is. You can yeah. read the whole thing. Sitting in your chair, and, and so like, I you have to go to a meeting. So, so when he talks about how like <coughs> it, it it infects the family, is I don't know whether he's talking about like I, I don't know how to interpret that. Is is he saying the ideas of the fascists affect the family, or is he saying that 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 or is he saying that the infection is the fascists that are coming in and killing the person, mm. right? Yeah. Like, there's two ways of looking at that. Is, is it the, you know, because you could say, oh, um, these people become the fascists, but, but then they end up dying, mm. right? It, it's, it's not like they're going around and coughing at other people, trying, trying to spread it or something, right? So, yeah. so, so, so you know, I can't, I can't see that, that version. But I, I, I'm mixed. So it's, it, it's an interesting parallel to link the two. I, I think they're much closer to each other than, 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 than um, I saw beforehand. Yeah. Right? Um, and they spread through the same nonsense. Right? The same sort of, like, like how would you make COVID spread? Well, you distrust authority. Um, you know, you, you believe in quack and quackery. Um, and you end up not caring about anybody. 
right? It's the same, like, you know, how does this crazy right wingism, it's the same thing, right? And so the linking of the two together, I think, is, it's, it's kind of a profound insight. Now, whether, you, but, but you can do that without writing 250 page book. <laughs> Yeah, you could have done it in 50 pages. I think so, yeah. Um, and now on to... We have things. To, you have things? You have things? We now on to what? What were you saying? Now on to uh, things. Okay, cool. So I, I said something last week, and I know you didn't remember it. So yeah, there I, it is. I probably do not. Oh, the uh, we were going to see if we, popcorn, can, right? we can uh, pop popcorn. Yeah, so... What I've so I'm going to try to use this thing right now. We'll you see made what, uh, what did you make in this pop coffee? coffee? Coffee, right? So we can have coffee flavored popcorn. I don't know what's going to happen. You made some coffee. Well, no, well the yeah. You know what's weird is that like I've got this thing that's like completely mobile and like we don't actually need any of your electricity here. Yeah, but but but, but for some reason we got plenty of electricity. We still use the couch every time. Yeah, and I don't know why we do that. We should probably we should probably like, take this on the road. You know, like the um. That's right. Everything is portable. Like, like the Marx Brothers. We should do this. We should do this in a hotel lobby. We could. So yeah. You're gonna exactly. pop some popcorn. I am. Uh, do you have some uh, like gourmet popcorn or some nah. specialized? Nah. No. I'm gonna try to. Let, let's do it on the camera so they. Well, they it's can... yeah. This this is in ca on camera right here. Mm -hmm. So so I'm gonna try to see if we can actually hit this thing. I I haven't used one of these for to to cook popcorn, ever. But so why did you buy it to make coffee? Why did I buy this thing? Yeah, I didn't. Um, it I, was there when you moved in. No, 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 no. Uh, somebody was tossing. Uh, somebody was tossing it. So there, there was a bunch of furniture and yeah. a couch or whatever, and then a popcorn cooker, and I was like, oh, cool. So and so you don't know where it's been. All right. Well, no, I've cleaned it. All right, all right, all right. I mean, you know, it, it was with like just a rag. No, no, I I, I cleaned it thoroughly. I think so, oh look, something else already, already came out. It's already popped. I think that's enough. I don't even know how to, I think it's supposed to be like one cup. I don't even know what I'm I supposed think to you do. Put, you already, yeah, you put in, you have to pour some out. I would actually pour some out. Um, you only need a little. When was the last time you did this? I have uh, made popcorn. Think in terms of a microwave popcorn. No, 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 I'm not talking about microwave. I'm talking no, about when no. was the last time you used like a, a popcorn like I, I've never used one. Oh, but, but, yeah, is this, but it's the is, same is, thing. Is this too goyish for you? No, no. The, the when you make microwave popcorn, you think of like a little envelope of of popcorn, and then it becomes six servings. So that's what's going to happen here. Mm -hmm. Are we going to be uh, heard over this, or do we have to stop talking? Oh, am, am I am I overloading this thing? I might be. Well, we could plug it in the wall. I have I have outlets. Yeah, I'm overloading the thing. Yeah. You want to do it in the kitchen, and then we'll bring the finished popcorn. No, in? no, 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 no. We, we we have to do it like on camera, or else yeah. it's it just doesn't work anymore. Well, why do you not? have an extension I get cable? An extension cord, yeah. Yeah. So this thing doesn't take a lot of. Um, I mean, it, it's okay, but like I I would guess that these popcorn cookers take a lot of power, and that's why. So yeah. It's weird because I brought some other things, but I guess we won't get around to the other things. See? So, uh, we'll see. It's, oh, gosh, look at that. Um, it's like, is that going to be long enough? No, it's still going to be long. Is, that's an air conditioner extension cord. This is like... I'm, yeah, but that's all I needed here. Like Let smaller, me get another one. It's like smaller than it was in seventh grade. Come on. I think I got to get a second extension cord. Why don't you? Um, why don't you do a number while I pull an extension cord out of another room? Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Send me a kiss by wire. Baby, my heart's on fire. If you refuse me, then baby, you lose me. Then I'll be all alone. So baby, call me on the telephone. Ribbit. Ribbit. Do, 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 do you know that was um, made up right uh, for the? For the cartoon itself, the what? That that uh, the "Hello My Baby" number was yeah. not a previously done bit. It was written for. Oh, it was. Yeah, written for it. And, I only uh, have short extension cords, so maybe if we use two of them. 
Yeah, yeah, the Michigan rag was 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 done before. Yeah, there's an actual sort of like there's an interview on on the um on that, and and I, I we had a, I don't know if we talked about it on air, but there was a follow up to that that was made like in the '90s, and the 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 problem is is that like where do you take that? Where do you take that? You know? Oh yes, I did. I think I saw the one and that was made in the '90s. It's like. It's such a sort of self-contained, perfect story. What are you supposed to do as the next step? And they, they, they were terrible. Okay. So switch on no, this. no, 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 it's this thing. Yeah. It's like a vacuum. Yeah, it's true. This is what we're doing. What? No. It, I mean, we got the microphones right here, so this thing may, maybe just comes out as like super silent. Maybe. I don't know. I have a feeling we're not being heard, but it's giving up some nice and warm. Yeah, it's nice. It's good. So. Um, what did you bring? You brought seasoning. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wanted to be a little bit. Paprika. You know, yeah, yeah. So we'll, we'll see what happens. We got some no demo here. And if you order now, <laughs> get the popcorn cook, the paprika. <laughs> the popcorn maker mm-hmm. to make it cook. Yeah, you it, it can cook all of these food, right? You put paprika on popcorn? Uh, what, uh, or is that just the only season you have? No, I've got plenty oh, of seasoning. The first one's out. No, uh, that doesn't uh, pop at all. It's failing. Oh, dear. I mean, what, what was I expecting? No, no, just the first ones are going to be... Uh... Go back in. You're not done yet. But no, I mean, like... Is this how the coffee... Now, what do you do with the coffee? The coffee... Throws out like this? Yeah, yeah, and you gotta put it back in. Well, you're looking for something different with coffee because you have to listen for the crack with mm-hmm. coffee. And with popcorn, I guess. Um, oh, so you roast it and then you have to toast it? Yeah, 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 but you're oh, listening. Oh, then you have to it. grind it? Yes. Oh, that, so, so that's the crack. We heard of one crack. Ah, 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 ah! You're in crack. And, and uh, the reason that these that these are good for coffee is that you have to agitate the beans. Oh, I can, I can see that there's actual it's, popcorn. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. We're running a regular movie theater. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's really white. It's, it's, it's way white. Usually you think of popcorn as a little yellow. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I got, I got this from uh, Texas. They're not gonna have anything yellow down there. I think we need another bucket. Let oh my go. gosh! I told you. So. Let me get a uh, another bag. This is a Lucy episode where uh, it just keeps on going here. I'm not gonna move it. I'm just gonna leave it right here. But we're, we're so, we're so familiar. Or maybe that's it. No, there's a few. I mean, it, it bring something out. I don't think we need it anymore. I think we got it. Are we going to eat off the floor like dogs? Oh, no, but the dogs. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, I see. It makes a mess. Oh, yeah. Now, the... All right, here we go. No, no, no. We, we, I think we were talking about like what kind to get last week. Mm-hmm. And did I buy it last week? Uh, you? No, you had already made coffee with it last week. Right. Now, now, but I bought this thing last week, I think, with you. What, the container? Yep. Oh, you bought the popcorn. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Okay, it's like movie popcorn. It's pretty good. Like movie popcorn, mm-hmm. yeah. Without the oil. What? Without the oil. Yeah, without the oil. Well, yeah, yeah, we're not going to do anything oil you know, with you. Because, you know, you got to have your slender figure. So I, I kind of like the fact that they're still canceling things. Should we put salt on this, or um, we'll put some salt? I've got some salt in here. No, no, I'm just let this good. Um, so it turns out that they're still canceling things in the future, which is good. Yeah, because, yeah. Because, because I, I don't. That's what the Gay Pride Festival. Yeah, canceled. yeah, 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 yeah. Which is good because that thing is terrible. What do I have here? Season salt. Oh. zesty season salt. Oh. Um, and yeah, I, I don't know. I, 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 I keep, I keep reading these things and I feel that like, um, well, 
I, I was hoping a better world would be possible, the and truth, now I know it's not. The truth about the Gay Pride Festival cancellation is the organization that used to do it, once West Hollywood determined they were not running it properly, yeah. West Ho the city of West Hollywood stopped funding They were just them. grifters. They, they were just grifters. So the city of West Hollywood stopped funding them and said the city was going to do it themselves right. next year. And they didn't have one. And so Christopher Street West, this kind of corrupt organization that's no longer being funded by the city of West Hollywood, said, well, we're postponing it. But meanwhile, they're bankrupt. Well, well, yeah, okay. well, well let, let, let's go back to it. So, so basically, what was happening is that since, I don't know, or 1970 or something, yeah. th there's been an annual gay pride parade to kind of celebrate gay liberation marked by Stonewall. Okay? That's the, in, that, that's the general West idea. Yeah. And um, so that means that, like, what would happen is that the parade, people would be uh, just going down the street with, with political slogans. It was originally right? a political march. And, and, and so, like, you could organize beforehand, but the first few years people weren't. It was just like, come out and parade and celebrate this thing. It was like the March on Washington, mm -hmm. just show up. And it, it, it got a new form of political significance in, during the AIDS crisis. And, you know, a new form of meaning with national politics. It was really, really big. But, but then as, as sort of, the alternative lifestyles that we um, mean when we say gay, and we we mean LGBT, you know, we mean all, all, all of the all of the all of the style. You know, we're not trying to leave anybody out. Is that as that became more uh, commercially acceptable, then the politics kind of went away, and it turned into. Essentially, like the Macy's Day Parade and, of a bunch of corporations out there just advertising. A bunch of corporations then owned it, right? Effectively, because if they stopped paying for it, it would stop existing. And 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 the other part is that like they would have this this kind of um, uh, uh, fairgrounds, and when you went inside the fairgrounds, um, you could have had let's say organizations that that, that help um, with with gay, gay youth. Or the help with uh, people suffering from AIDS or something, but it wasn't. What it was instead was it was financial organizations. By, by this it, time, it yeah. was it was people that were selling a high end like sushi, a bunch of bars. By and, by two thousand, and, and on the stage, it could have been it could have been like but political people, but it was it was it was like you know a yesterday's hot musician. Yesterday's, and, well, and so it, it just turned into just pure commercialism. By by two thousand, they had. The city of West Hollywood, it's always been mm -hmm. West Hollywood, had allowed this organization called Christopher Street West, instead of previously it had been done by volunteers, to take over and run it professionally. Mm -hmm. But within a few years, Christopher Street West just became this corrupt organization where they took an extra almost a million dollars yeah. from the city of West yeah. Hollywood. So, 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 so here's the thing. So, so they charge people. They charge people to, to get to, into they, the parade. Or, or not, they charge people to be in the parade. So all these corporations chase Manhattan Bank right. and, 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 you know, and, and, and Exxon wanted to show like how woke it was. And, and they, Wells Fargo was out there. I'm not kidding. They were all they, out there. They all had to pay fees and they to, all be had to, pay to be in the parade. parade. Then the and, patrons had to pay fees to go into the festival. Right. And then they had to... You don't get anything for that fee because then if you want to buy something, if you want to buy a hamburger, you right. want to buy a soda, if you want to buy a beer, you have to pay again. And, and, and all those vendors had to pay fees and to be in there. All the vendors that and, were selling beer and Chinese food had to be in there. And the city gave them money on top of a that. A million dollars In order to put it year. on. And every year they were like, well, I don't know if we can do it next year. We're broke. And, every and it's year like, well, what the fuck are you doing with that? Like, like, how much, year, how much blow do you it, need? Every year at the end of it, the organization Christopher Street West would go back to the city and say, "We ran four hundred thousand dollars over." You, you know, what, um, you know what it was? Is it, 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 was, it was a bunch of Hollywood accountants? No, it that. wasn't. It was. It would had been run by volunteers before. And said, but, they well, all paid themselves gigantic salaries. Yeah, but but it sounds like Hollywood accountants. So finally, like a few years ago, mm -hmm. a few of West Hollywood said. We're not going to use an outside organization anymore. We can just do it ourselves. We're going to do it ourselves, and we can save a million four hundred thousand dollars. So Christopher Street West said, "Well, then you won't know how to do it. So we're going to have our own festival mm -hmm. somewhere else in Los Angeles." But no one else. We just okay. lost that. 
nobody else in Los Angeles wanted to give them a, a million four hundred thousand dollars to do an organization. Nonsense, right? Um, whether they'd want it or not, no one was going to pay for it. it dead. And so they announced last week, Christopher Street West, which is effectively a bankrupt organization because no one's funding them, said, mm -hmm. we're not doing it this year. But of course, they couldn't do it that year. They had no space, no money, no sponsors. Right. And so they were just jumping ahead of the city of West Hollywood's announcement that yeah. they weren't going to do it this year. Yeah, but the criminals. They are going to criminals. Yeah. Let's um, try this now. Okay, so that's ginger. So I was given some uh, Chinese I'm, candy. I've got some Mary Ann in my car. I'm <laughs> Mary Jane. I was given some um, Chinese candy, and it's a surprising thing about this. Really? Um, well, have one, and then I'll tell you. I didn't. Uh, know I mean, do I get cholera from it? Is that the surprising? No, no, no. I'll tell you in advance then. It's a ginger candy, but mm -hmm. it's a real all-natural ginger and sugar. And what happens is first you taste the sugar... And then a minute later, you start to taste the ginger. And then a few seconds past that, you start to feel the spice. Ginger apparently is really spicy and hot, oh, yeah. like sriracha. Yeah, yeah. Sriracha, you, you, you didn't know that? Word? Well, I know it now. And so this has uh, got some real kick to it. So okay. it tastes like a, a gummy bear for a minute. Mm -hmm. And then it tastes like ginger ale. Mm -hmm. And then it tastes like hot peppers. Yeah. Have you never had this before? No. Okay. I've had it once. Yeah. This is ginger. Twice. This is it. That's Dang exactly how it tastes like. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, the reason that... Uh, yeah, it is... Um, A lot hotter than I thought. Well, there are... Uh, people use it in traditional medicines, I think. I think that's part of. Will them. I get better now? Uh, no, no, you're still a sick puppy. <laughs> Sorry. And this is, this is the same thing that happens with all popcorn: is that you end up eating a bit of it, and you're like, "Okay, I'm done." And then the rest of it you have to vacuum up. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah, popper. It, we succeed. We succeeded. It works. You can make coffee in that again. Um, there's other things that we'll have to wait till next week. Oh, well, this yeah. is going to be fun. See if you can tell what this one is. Oh, this says... Do you want to do it this week, or do you want to wait? No, well, we can wait a week on this. There's no English on this at all. That's right. There's no word of English. Mm -hmm. Let's look closer at this and see what it no. might say. Uh, I, 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 I got it because it was all in Japanese. It but lacked, do you know what it is? Um, I think it's peanuts. It doesn't look like peanuts. I think so. I mean, yeah, there, there isn't a single... English word on here. Not not one. Yeah. Um, the only thing that they have is the Arabic numbers. Like, you know, two, zero, one. And not only is it Japanese, it's Japanese uh, script. Wait, it's so it's not it's not just uh, Japanese like here, and that's the... Uh... Oh, well, well, yeah, but that's what I told you about beforehand, is that, you know, they, they have three different alphabets that yeah, are used... and they use two of them on here. Yeah, because they're used for different purposes. It's a, well, we can take this next week. It doesn't expire till five twenty-five, twenty twenty-one. Oh, that that is soon. That's uh, well, we got two more weeks. That's right. Uh, well, it would have been longer except you had to fly that in from Okinawa. Yeah, and and then and then this is the other one which we'll have next week, I guess, which is uh, an Indian one. Unlike the spicy stuff we had last week, this is. This well, do you think that you brought in some? Nothing's being uh, coming in from. Uh, What's this sweet on it? India, sweet chakrapara. I, I I think it's actually it's like uh, sweet uh, sausage. I think that's it, it, Shakira. <laughs> like sweet, these are cookies. They're actually called. They're cookies. all cookies. Yeah. Maybe um, it's. Uh, just showing it to the camera. Yeah, yeah. I I don't know why you would call this a cookie, but. Yeah. But maybe it's like sweet sausage, where it just means it's less spicy. Contains wheat. Oh, very good. Is there sugar in it? Um, no. So, yeah, so? yeah. No, it's near the end. Yeah, it's it's right. It's right after folic acid. <laughs> so there's less sugar than there is folic acid. That's right. All right. So right. it's not going to be particularly sweet. It's not going to be sweet for us Americans. No, not, not at all. Okay. Well, that's that's our hour. 
So right. we next week we're going to be done with Camus. Thank goodness. Um, I'm going to the the next mm -hmm. one that we're going to be doing is Beatrice What's Your Face. Father. No, the woman that did Go Ask Alice and all those other fake, fake um, sort of uh, di diaries from the from the sixties. No. You know what I'm talking about? No. Oh well, you you will soon. Are you sure it's Beatrice? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah she she was, she's a terrible person. Oh. And oh, uh, that's there, that should be better reading. Yeah, and they're the quick reads, and so it's going to be fun. But Short stories from now on. <laughs> Shorter stories. Anyway, I think that's Let's it. Do some O. Henry stories. All right, let's get out of here.